Test Sprite, easiest AI agent for software testing. Why testing matters? Every application needs testing. If that is not done, the cost of bugs, that is 1.56 trillion lost annually to software failures. 25% of dev time spent fixing bugs. 88% of users abandon apps after bugs. These are huge numbers. So testing is critical for success and it's incredible time consuming. But we have a solution that is Test Sprite. Testing using AI. Transform documentation into complete test suites. Self-healing tests that can adapt as your UI changes. Fixes bugs while identifying their root causes. Imagine waking up tomorrow, all API endpoints automatically validated and secured. Bug reports include root cause analysis and solutions. Your team focused on innovation and non-repetitive testing. Every application need to be tested. Without that, it results in bugs. Without AI testing tool, we spent weeks writing test cases manually, tests break with every UI update, hours of debugging with no root cause insight. But now, test generation in minutes from documents, self-healing tests adapt automatically, AI identifies root causes instantly. And this can supercharge your testing process, automating many of the features, which I'm super impressed with this. AI can automate every testing aspect, no scripting or complex setup, ready in 10 minutes. You are able to inspect test objects, generate the test reports, create the test code, execute test code, and analyze the test results. Everything is completely automated. And this is number one product of the month under developer tools in Product Hunt. You can get started for free, that is really nice. You have a chatbot assistant, minimal input required, and end-to-end -end coverage with API testing, UI testing, and data testing. You can test your backend endpoints. You can test your front end. You have data testing and AI agent model testing. Whenever you create any application, it's crucial for you to test the application because it might contain many errors. And when the application develops, you need an automated system to continuously test its old feature. That's when you got test sprite. And I'm going to take you through step by step how you can create an application then integrate that application with this test sprite and able to view all the test results. Let's get started. Thanks to test sprite for sponsoring this video. In an AI application, you generally keep on creating new, new features. It's very hard to keep up with all the features and it's individual testing, but with automated AI testing, such as test sprite, you can automate this process and test all these features. And even when we have more other features, this can, automatically detect that and able to create the extra testing as well. So in this, we are going to create a application using Replit. You can use any of the online providers to create the application, which can be available online. Then we are going to add features to it, such as endpoints, and then add that endpoint testing to test sprite. First, focusing on creating the AI application that is in Replit, creating the backend endpoint. Now I'm inside Replit. You can also use your own ID, such as Cursor, Windsor, or any other ID, and create any application, publish it online, and then we can do that testing. So, so here's the instruction. I want to input a stock symbol and get a summary of finance data. Give me a table and chart tracking the stock and other key financial information. Use data from Yahoo Finance. Let me download the data as CSV. Also include dedicated endpoints available publicly for me to test. So adding that extra line and start building. And here's a stock analysis dashboard with all the details. And this is really nice and detailed. And we got all the information here and the API endpoints. But I'm going to ask one more thing to do. Create a detailed documentation to test all the endpoints in a separate markdown file. Now I got the detailed documentation in regards to the list of API endpoints and how to test it. So I can use this information and provide this document to test sprite. So as simple as that. Finally, I'm going to deploy by clicking this deploy button. I can also see my deployments. There you should be able to see the port number. So it's pointing to 8,000. So I'm just opening the networking panel. That's where I can see my external URL here. So I'm just opening the external URL by clicking this icon. And you can see my external URL here. So I'm just copying this. For every individual application, this will differ. So literally, I'm just copying the documentation, that is the API endpoint. 
with the endpoint, which I just copied here. So just copying the whole documentation. Now we have completed creating the application with all the endpoints. And next step is to test those endpoints with this automated AI testing. And I'm going to get it started for free using the basic package. I'm going to sign in. Now here in test sprite, I'm going to create a new test. I'm going to name that as my stock price backend API. So clicking next stock price, adding my endpoint and the documentation which I just copied. So literally the whole documentation and clicking next. So this is super easy. I've been writing tests for various cases using robot framework in Python, using Selenium, but this is the easiest way to write any test for your backend or your frontend. So it automatically prepared me total 10 test cases. I didn't write anything at all. All these test categories, then clicking next, and you can see the detailed endpoint information. You can modify this if you want to. For each test case, this is the instruction on what it's going to create. For each, there'll be like a code. So I'm going to click next. Now you can see automatically writing the code that is a test case for the endpoint. And now it's ready. You can see here, this is the first test case. Here's the second test case. You can see it's been tested and here is the response. And this is super useful. Even if I want to run that again, I can click run and it can run the test, analyze the results step by step and give you the answer if the endpoint is working or not. Now I'm going to retrieve historical data. You can see the endpoint here. I'm going to click run at the top. Now immediately you can see it's reviewing the test setup, analyze, and the result is ready. Everything's working fine. Now I'm going to click next. Now I can add my front end. So here's my front end. This is really nice. So I can change the company I want, Microsoft, and based on that, all the information gets updated. So I'm gonna get the front end URL here. So I'm gonna get the test stripe page. There I'm going to enter the URL and the URL name, and then clicking next. Now this is just for the front end. So I'm not writing any of the front end test, and this is writing it for me. Now it's ready with one URL and 10 test cases. Clicking next, now here is the different test navigation bar functionality, user input form, error handling, session timeout, all these features we are going to test. Clicking next, and now it's going to write the code for me. And here is the video of the front end test. It's trying to load, and the whole process is recorded. So I didn't do anything at all. It recorded the video for me just for me to analyze later. And you can see the code here. You can see it's using Playwright, and then automatically navigating across pages and testing if it's working or not and all your steps got recorded here, it'll automatically try to change details here and test this feature. And it's clicking the icon you can see here, interactive charts. And you can see the interactive chart here. This is another feature. So we are testing one by one every single feature and everything is getting recorded. The AI written code is automatically clicking all the icons, all the drop down menus, and testing if it's all working fine or not. You can see one by one, all these features are getting passed. Even if you have any questions regarding these test results, you can ask questions directly here. The chat is automatically integrated. Now all the tests completed, as you can see here, it's green color. Now I'm going to click next, and now it's finally generating the test report and analysis. And here you can see the overall view, total test cases, 20, total URLs, total API tested. You got the warning, fail and the pass result. And it's giving me the recommendations, what could be better and the test summary. Just clicking finish. And you can see all my test cases here. And I'm really impressed because it gives both front end and the back end information. So all tests done. Imagine just few months before, this is one of the hardest job to write test cases for every single endpoint and also UI component. This can automatically identify the changes and able to update these endpoints dynamically using AI automation. I'm really impressed with this. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this, adding AI to this testing process. I'm very sure that you will like it. And I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.